All right, y'all. So we've got the Zeus Plus. We've got an 06 Honda Ridgeline. I just cut a key for it. So I just got a key cutter for my shop. So super pumped about that. And uh, just been practicing and, and testing it out and whatnot. So got this key cut. It fits and works perfectly. So we're going to program it now. So we're going to go in here. We're going to get connected to the vehicle. And we're going to connect and then we will get this key program to it. So Hondas are one of the easiest, if not the easiest manufacturers to program keys with. Most of the time, your aftermarket scan tools will program them. Um, I did have an issue a while ago on my Varus Edge, um, and it was all snap-on scan tools. Something in the software was not allowing it to program keys, but they updated it on the following uh, software patch. Uh, which sucked because at that time, I was not able to get it done. So we're going to go to, whoops, I think I clicked the right one. All right, so we're going to Immobilizer Setup and Registration. Does this vehicle have an original keyless access remote one push start system? No, it does not. We've got the ignition switch on All right, already, I mean. And then it's going to check the immobilizer type. This takes just a few, just a little bit. I shouldn't say a few seconds because it takes a little bit longer than a few seconds. But um, it'll connect or it'll read it. Uh, identify which immobilizer system it has in it. And then we'll get to programming the key. Co actually programming the key does not take very long at all on these Hondas. So it's fantastic. Can't tell you how good of a feeling it is as well while that's connecting to be able to cut my own keys. I, I don't know why that's such a good feeling, uh, but it's just really, really nice. And the fact that uh, I was able to get this key cut and it fits perfectly. I cut a, a practice like blank key, like I'm not, basically just a cheap version of this, no fob on it did that twice and neither one really worked well. The one worked great on one side, but not on the other side. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and try an actual key and it worked great and it fits perfectly. I used the backup key. All right. So it, it identified it. We're going to go in. It says equipped, use the actual immobilizer key. Okay. Yes. We don't need to worry about all that. Make sure you read that stuff. But right now I want to try to make this video short. So you, you've got your options here. When you go in, you want it, we're going to keys. So we're going to click keys. Then we want to add a key. We're going to turn the ignition switch off. It'll have us turn it back on, and then it'll have it turn it off again, and then it'll have it turn it on with a new key. So wait five seconds, turn off, then with another key. So that's our new key. So we're going to put that in, turn it on. We're going to wait another five seconds. Turn it off, and then we leave this key in, because it says without changing the key, Turn the ignition switch off and back on. It'll have us check the immobilizer light. Did the indicator go off? Yes, it did. Indicator is off. It's right there. It's your green key light. So you're going to want to check and make sure that is not on and flashing or on solid. So yes, it went off. We're going to go off again on the key switch. Turn it back on. Wait another five seconds, and then I think this is the last one, if I remember. It's going to have it turn it off and then turn it back on and start the car. Oh, whoops. I guess I got to pay attention. All right. And we're started. This vehicle needs a new battery, too, so it needs some love. But we got our key program. Now, the fob is not programmed. So on the fob, you put the key in, turn the ignition switch on, Hit the lock and un or unlock button, turn it off, turn it back on, hit the lock and unlock button, turn it back off, turn it back on, hit the lock and unlock button, turn it back off, and then there we go. So that's all you do. That's how you program the lock and unlock uh, functions. On the newer keys, it does program them automatically. But on these older keys, uh, you have to program it yourself. So you just, again, put in the key ign ignition. As soon as you turn it on, hit the lock or unlock button. Turn it off. Turn it back on. Hit the lock or unlock button. You do that like four times. So hopefully this video helps you all. Uh, Zeus Plus, fantastic as always. Uh, does a great job. So... 
just trying to get as many of these tests and things the Zeus Plus is capable of and can do uh, out there for you all to watch. So if you have any questions about anything specific, uh, let me know in the comments and I will be doing some scope videos and some guided component tests here before too long. Uh, the shop has just been super slammed, ultra busy. My assistant was off for two weeks, so I'm behind on work as well. So I promise you, as soon as I'm able to, I am going to get some videos up. I'm going to come out here on the weekends or something and record some videos using the lab scope as well. Appreciate y'all. We'll catch you on the next one.